So this is going to be my last video for this evening. And today's video is going to be about paying it forward in a negative way, right? And what I mean by paying it forward in a negative way is I'm sure everyone who is watching this video has heard someone feel that because they've had it bad, that someone else should have it bad, right? And the example I will give is of a Facebook argument that I was seeing earlier today. So there were there was a news article talking about the USS Washington where several sailors have been committing suicide recently and they have decided to move, they being leadership has decided to move a lot of sailors off of this vessel. And I saw some old sailors, I'm assuming they're sailors, right? Saw some older people get into the chat and say, hey, you know, the modern Navy is derogatory term for wimps. You know, these guys are pathetic. This is this, this is that. You joined the U.S. Navy. What did you expect? Blah, 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 right? And this is something that even I have been guilty of, right? And a great example of it is college. I struggle with the idea that college should be free. And let me clarify on that, right? I don't think you should be able to pick whatever you want to do and no matter your talents and uh, the taxpayers should have to just perpetually fund for you to study that topic, even if you're not going to be able to do it. I don't believe that you should be able to get on the taxpayer's dollar, exploit that education system and then decide, oh, but I wanted to stay in my town in the middle of nowhere that doesn't have this type of position in it. And, uh, you know, golly, I can't find a job that college took advantage of me, right? I don't feel that schools should be allowed to continue to hike up their tuition every time federal student aid increases. And I feel that there should be limitations on how many books can be attached to each class. I had a single grad school course that had five books that all had digital content attached to them. So you couldn't even buy a used book and it ended up being almost $200 of books. So think $1,000 in books for one class, right? That's unacceptable. That's gouging, okay? So, but I do feel education, post-secondary education is absolutely important. And I don't feel that people should have to struggle the way I did. What I mean by that is working multiple jobs simultaneously to be able to pay to go to school and doing one to two classes a semester because that's all you can afford and that's all you have time for. Right. When I originally signed up for my associate's degree when I was still living in Georgia, my associate's degree was going to take me, uh, it was like eight solid years to finish. Eight for a two-year degree, right? Because I could only take two classes a semester. That's all I had the money and time for. Well, that's sad, right? Because, you know, the whole purpose of getting the degree is to hopefully get a better job and increase your financial uh, livelihood. Uh, it ended up actually taking me a decade, I think it was like nine and some odd years, right? No, it's a solid decade to complete my associate's degree. But I did, right? Do I feel other people should have to struggle like that? Not at all, right? Uh, I've had to work multiple full-time jobs at once while sleeping less than four hours a day and just being run down. Do I feel everyone should have to do that? No. I don't, right? It's important to understand that just because you were abused, just because you were mistreated, doesn't mean someone else should have to go through that same torment. Now I say this with a caveat. The caveat being there are some struggles that have tremendously benefited me. They were really hard. They broke my heart at the time, right? But they helped me become a better person. They helped me have better perspective on the things that I can do to make the lives of others better. They help me understand what's really important and prioritize resources better. They help me to grow as a man, right? There's other ones that did nothing but jade me, right? And 
for those of you who don't know what jading is, it's like giving you a bad perspective, making you fearful, nervous, have angst over situations, people, things of that nature, right? Just because you've had a bad go around doesn't mean someone else should. Break the cycle. Break the cycle. If you identify that there were silver linings to the struggle that you went through where you benefited, chances are there's probably a way you can teach that lesson without making someone go through that same struggle, right? There's no reason in tearing somebody down just because you were torn down. Now, I will be honest because I am a human. Part of it is that emotional, well, what about my time? What about my future? So part of the free, you can go to school for whatever you want argument that does kind of have a really bad taste on when I hear it is the fact that I don't get any of my time back. I'm expected to pay the taxes to fund this, but do I get my youth back? Do I get my 20s back? That's all that time I sunk in and invested and it goes away. And then I hear about raising minimum wage to $15 an hour, right? Well, of course, every single person who doesn't get that raise now wants a raise of equal value because you've just devalued their own wages. You've made things more expensive for them to procure, so you have devalued their wages. Well, yeah, that's pretty reasonable for them to feel that way, right? But there's a balance, right? It's okay to feed people, right? Because food, food, given our society right now, especially in developed countries like America, no one should be hungry. But that doesn't mean you get whatever food you want, right? It doesn't mean I get to eat whatever I want, however I want, whenever I want, and do nothing for it, right? There should, able-bodied people should be required to work for the aid that they receive, right? Um, you shouldn't get filet mignon when you didn't contribute filet mignon effort, right? But no one should be going hungry. No one should be going without all medical care, right? Japan does a lot of stuff like this, right? They provide base level of medical care, right? So I'm living in Japan right now and they provide decent base level affordable health care that just doesn't have all the pampered stuff with it, right? Philippines does something very similar. When I was uh, living in the Philippines, they like you could get a hospital uh, if you went to the hospital, you could get a room by yourself if you had enough money or you could be in the hospital with like 15 other people in a bay right? The 15 other people in a bay with no AC, you were hot, you were uncomfortable, but it was affordable, right? You weren't going without medical care because you couldn't afford all this extra fancy stuff that you needed, right? There, there's a balance, but the point I'm making here is you don't have to make other people suffer just because you suffered, if there's a way to take the lessons that you learned from your suffrage, find a way to do that. Take those lessons. Find out what other ways can you teach that. Teach it to people and help them not have to waste as much of their time. Because you know what? I won't get my youth back. I won't get my 20s back. But I can help somebody else not lose their 20s and be able to get on the right path quicker without wasting as much time and energy as I wasted trying to get there. Anyways, I hope these videos are helpful for you. Um, you know, again, the main purpose of these videos is so that my daughter can look at them in the event that I were to pass, right? But the secondary intent of all these videos is to help everyone become the best version of themselves that they wanna be for themselves. And what I mean by that is the best version that you want to be for you, meaning focusing on your priorities, your goals, your dreams, your focus, right? Not anyone else, not what they want you to be, not how they want you to be. You being the best version of you that you want to be for yourself. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Take care.